Hello everybody, welcome to this next video on linear algebra. In this video, we will discuss about some examples of spanning sets. So we will discuss very basic examples of spanning sets and later on we will do some problems which will be more, you know, regress based on spanning sets. So the first example is, we have the simple, uh, you have R3 as a vector space over the field R. Right. Now you you I claim that the simple vectors one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Right. This is a spanning set of R cube over R. Right. So you must relate it with you with your vector analysis from you know class eleventh or twelfth. There you know that if you have any vector, you can write it as alpha a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap and this is a unit vector in x direction unit vector in x direction and similarly this is the unit vector in y direction and this is the unit vector in z direction right and if you see at the coordinates this is actually 1 comma 0 comma 0 and this is actually 0 comma 1 comma 0 and this is actually 0 0 comma 1 so you see every three dimensional vector actually this r3 is nothing but uh, the three dimensional vector space right so you have all the vectors which we really deal like your velocity your displacement when you are moving in the three dimensional space so this is the vector so this space we are talking about is nothing but which we, uh, the space which we have, uh, we are already familiar about so here you already know this thing that every vector is a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap but you know we are now looking from another perspective and you may ask that we already know that if you have r2 as a space over r or r cube as a space over r so you already know that every vector here is of the form a i cap plus b j cap and here every vector is of the form a i b j plus c k then why we need to study the vector spaces because we already know these two spaces very well so the answer to your question is that because you want to move to the fourth dimension and then the fifth dimension and also you don't want this euclidean geometry only so you want to you know uh, widen your horizon that is why you are going into vector spaces Okay, so this is something else. So an example is that for R cube as a vector space over R, this set of vectors, three vectors, is a spanning set. So by the, uh, so can we prove it? Yes. By the definition, spanning set means that every element of R cube should be written as a linear combination of these three element. Now you know that any element of R cube looks like this, right? Any element, any random element in R cube is this so you can write it as x comma 0 comma 0 plus 0 comma y comma 0 plus 0 comma 0 comma z now you can take x common here so you have 1 comma 0 comma 0 plus y common here 0 comma 1 comma 0 plus z common here 0 comma 0 comma 1 so it means that every vector in r cube is a linear combination of these three vectors so these three vectors 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 spans r cube over r right similarly these are the trivial examples right but you it is not that these trivial vectors will all uh, are the only span uh, spanning sets we have another example that 1 comma 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 comma 0 this is also a spanning set of r cube also a spanning set of r cube right here also you can see that given any x y z you want to see whether you can write it as alpha 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus beta 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus gamma 1 comma 0 comma 0 so we are looking for the answer whether we can do this or not whether we can do this or not it means that you are looking for some alpha beta gamma and you want to know whether any alpha beta gamma 
such alpha beta gamma exists for which this is true so this is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta and then you have alpha is equal to x y z so here you can just see that alpha is equal to z then you have alpha plus beta is equal to y so you have beta is equal to y minus z and then you have alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to x so therefore you have y plus gamma is equal to x therefore gamma is equal to x minus y so it means that give me any vector say if i give you 1 comma 2 comma 3 so your z alpha is 3 beta is y minus z that is 2 minus 3 minus 1 and gamma is your x minus y that is 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 so you can write this 1 comma 2 comma 3 as 3 into 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus minus 1 into 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus minus 1 into 1 comma 0 comma 0 so we know that give me any vector i can find alpha beta gamma in this manner right such that this this relation is true right therefore this is also a spanning set for r cube as a vector space over r right similar examples are there we have another example you can have a space of all the matrices m is equal to m22 space of all 2 cross 2 matrices right so you can prove that this is a vector space over the field of reals if your vector elements are real right and here you can see that 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 is the spanning set it is quite simple to prove is is a spanning set because this is not unique is a spanning set and similarly you can prove that for a space of p polynomials p and t this denotes the space of all polynomials of degree less than is equal to n right and we know that this space of all polynomials uh, this is a, a vector space and 1 comma t comma t square comma t raised to power n forms a spanning set how you can prove it you can it is very simple you can if you take any uh, polynomial if you take any polynomial of degree n any polynomial of degree n then your polynomial looks like a naught plus a1 x plus a2 or if you have a, a dummy variable as t so you can just write t everywhere so you have a naught plus a1 t plus a2 t square plus a3 t cube and so on a n t raised to power n so this is actually a naught into 1 plus a1 into t plus a2 into t square plus so on a n into t raised to power n and here a naught a1 a2 a n all these are scalars so it means that every element in your space p n is equal to linear combination of 1 t t square and t raised to power n therefore this 1 t t square t raised to power n is a spanning set right so this is how we prove that something is a spanning set for a vector space thank you